All right, this video that you're going to watch today is uh, a video over what we call function operations. And by function operations, what I mean is, let's take a look here, is that functions, okay, can be manipulated in the same way as a single variable by using our math operators, and you know those math operators as, as being your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So we're going to look at two functions. Our first function is going to be our f of x. Our f of x is equal to 4x minus 1, and our g of x, which is going to be 2x. And so, as you see here, we're going to perform operations on these two functions. So the first one we're going to start with is our multiplication. So right here what we have is we have f times g of x, all right? And the one thing I want you to know is that you can rewrite it as the f of x times the g of x. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our f of x. We remember our f of x being a 4x minus one and I'm going to put that in parentheses because it's more than one expression. And I'm going to multiply that by our g of x. And remember from the previous slide, the g of x was a 2x. So we're going to multiply these together. So what you have is you have an expression, and you're multiplying that by, a, by one term. So a number outside or an expression outside the parentheses, how do we multiply? We distribute, okay? So let's distribute. So the 4x times the 2x gives us 8. x times x, x squared. And go back and do it again. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. And that is the product of the two expressions. All right. Let's take a look at our next one. Our next one is addition. We're going to add the two functions together. Again, we can do a rewrite. So if we bring down our f of x, our f of x again is the 4x minus 1 plus the g of x. Remember, the g of x is 2x. So in this case, we'll simplify this down by combining our like terms. So we have the x terms of 4x plus 2x. That would give us 6x, and then we need our constant or our number of negative 1. Okay, so that is the sum of the two functions. All right, let's take a look at the next two. Now we're going to do subtraction here. We have g minus f of x, and we are going to do the rewrite, g of x minus f of x. So they've kind of flipped this around. Now they're starting with the g of x. So you have to do the same thing. Remember, g of x is the 2x minus the f of x is more than one expression or more than one term. So put it in parentheses and, and write it inside the parentheses. So 2x minus the quantity 4x minus 1. How our first step, the negative sign needs to be distributed. So we would have 2x, negative 4x, and then negative times negative plus 1. Again, we'll combine our like terms. Now we have a 2x, and we're going to add that to a negative 4x. A 2x minus 4x would be negative 2x, and plus our 1. So that is the difference. And then our last one is our division. So we come over here and you see again that they do the rewrite, the g of x divided by the 2 of x. So our g of x, or f of x, sorry. So our g of x of 2x divided by the f of x of 4x minus 1. And go ahead and put that in parentheses so you will not be tempted to reduce the 2 and the 4. Because remember, if you have a 4x minus 1, the only way you can cancel that 4x minus 1 is if it matches exactly. So this would be right here, that simplified form. Now I want to show you one more thing. I'm going to come back up here to our 
g of x minus our f of x, and I'm just going to do a little rewrite here. I'm going to rewrite this as g minus f, but instead of the x, I'm going to replace that with a 2. Okay? So I'm replacing that with a 2, therefore, when I simplify this down, I'm going to replace my x with the 2. So then we would have negative 2 times, take out the x, replace your 2, plus our 1, do order of operation, negative 2 times 2, of, which would give us negative 4, and negative 4 plus 1 would give us negative 3. So once you uh, do your specific operation, add, subtract, multiply, or divide, and they actually then want you to evaluate it, you wait till your simplified form and then you evaluate it for that number and you will then get a value once you evaluate. All right, um, you are going to work on these 10 problems and they will be due at the end of class.